Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is Friday, March 10th. It's just now coming on 630 in the morning, and it is Jobs Friday. Jobs Friday, and everybody's looking back at yesterday and going, oh, my God, Silvergate, Silvergate, what did they do? What did they do? Look, at it's coming. It's happening again. It's happening. Myself. You what? <laughs> I fucking shit myself. <laughs> Fuck off. Look, this Silvergate Capital or SVB Financial, whatever the fuck, absolutely meaningless. News hits when charts are ready for it. We have already gone through this. We went into this at the beginning of the week as you go through your emails. Like I said, you, you we even started it with here, March 10, SPY 400 puts. They were 205. That was the very first thing there in the email. And, okay, yeah, we got into those April 6, 404, or April 6, 390 puts yesterday, and they more than doubled. But, you know, we'll look back here. Bear with me. 230310 put 400. And the week to date, and these are the SPY 400 puts from the start of the week. They were $1.72 at the very open on Monday. They're up here at 9 bucks as of the close yesterday. So, you know, we knew this was coming. We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. Like I said, there's a 65% chance we're going to break down below 39.26. Blah, 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 blah. You guys, you're already in the club. You can go through the emails. Monday, we're looking for a slow session because we had Powell. Tuesday, boom. The March 10, 17, 24, 31, April 6, spy puts window shopping time has begun. And then you had your Tuesday open right there. We got our 4079 like we wanted, and we wanted Powell to give up 3982. And it's exactly what he did. We got it all. Now we wait. Wednesday it was exactly that. We waited, and we got nothing on Wednesday. And that was why on Thursday, yesterday, we said SPX is going to go to 4020. SPY is going to go to 401 today. And then we can get into our April 6 puts. That's exactly what we were looking at right there. SPX 4020, 4030, 401, 402. We got 4017.81. If you email me or send me a private message, I'll give you my contact details for my attorney and you can file the lawsuit more than happy to since we missed it by 2.19. Fantastic little setup that we got there and a great drop. Fantastic drop. And that drop was more than expected as we went into that day on SPY. 407.45 on Tuesday or on Monday. Was it to Monday? Yeah, mon- yeah, whatever. Bam. This is trouble right here. You are right back down below the 2022 resistance line. So that is going to be a problem. And as you can see there, you fought it and you tried to support it there in the morning, in the afternoon. Overnight, we've dipped down below it. Now we're resisting on it. So it is going to be a little bit of an issue. And the jobs report is going to determine what you get out of that. The dollar? Absolutely nothing. That's what I was trying to say yesterday, where... I was posting in the alert room that somebody's lying. Somebody is lying. The dollar was not making any kind of move together with the markets. And at the same time, neither was the TNX, the 10 year. The 10 year was not making any kind of moves together with what the market was having. So again, it was a lot of caution because we are going into jobs Friday. And here we are just looking at yesterday. 47.81 47.81 there in the morning. Plenty of time until here around 11.30 when we were hanging up there around that 50-day moving average. Then we started resisting it. And then we just played around here until 12.30. And then all of a sudden, even though if you come over here and you look at a one-minute chart, you can see S- SVP was dropping from 200. It's down to 56 overnight but over here it dropped down to a hundred intraday already had the big gap down and you weren't getting 
any kind of reaction out of the markets until all of a sudden we broke down below that 3980 at one o'clock. And then that was it. Free fall right down to that 3908 that we were looking for back in February when we had the drop to 3926. We violated that. Here we are. We're hanging around right underneath the 200 day and the 100 day moving averages, which you see there in your email. Got your detailed chart. Your protection area for now is that bear market 20% line and the 2023 open, which is just fractionally below that. Right here, you got your 2022 or your 2022 resistance line right down here at 3890, 3890, 3885 is where it'll be falling to. So there is some question. However, because these are questions, you have jobs, you're oversold. OK, you've got your VIX and rather than clicking around on that, I bring you over here and pull the futures up. You got the Dow dropping down here below that 32,000. Now, the Dow has been red all week on the year for 2023. It's almost near the October lows. You got your NASDAQ right to the 200 day and 50 day moving averages is where that dip came. You're still holding 12,000, which if you recall, NQ 12,000 was resistance all through September, October, November, December. NASDAQ is what's holding all of this together right now. And then over here on your ES, you did get your dip down below 3,900. And now we're back here trying to fight 3913. There's a lot of work to be done for the bulls, no question. And here you go with the Russell, which had been very, very weak. It's right back to the November 9th, 2020, where Joe Biden was announced president level. Right back there. It, it's gone absolutely nowhere. So as we go into today, I will again ask you, because of the plethora of profitable trades that we have had all week long. We've had it all year long, but we've had a plethora of profitable trades. Do you really want to be in front of a fucking train in the United States when they derail so fucking often and be trading today when you know you got plenty of peaceful time to go and be a human being and enjoy fresh air outside. As long as you're not riding a bike next to a motorcycle, that fucking side swipes you and knocks you over and you get 49 stitches and fucking dozen staples. And you've got CPI coming on Tuesday next week. So even though you have internet access, even though you have electricity, and even though you have money in your account to trade with, I've made sure of that. Do you really need to be trading today? Do you know what? I think we're the greatest. We're the greatest. One, two, three. And that's exactly the truth. I think we are the greatest. I will be doing one-on-one -on -one calls with anyone that wants to over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. I prefer it to be very early in the mornings over there for you on the East Coast. If you're on the West Coast, I'd prefer it to be as late in the evening as possible. I have some Glacier stuff that I need to be doing today. I have to draft something up for Logan Paul and Kevin Hart as they've got a meeting on Monday. And I'm happy to speak to anybody because we are going to make a shit ton of money playing this video game as we go into April 6th. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. See you guys in the chat room. Hi, I'm Jose Canseco, and I want to talk to you. So call 1-900-234-JOSE. I'll give you the latest scoop on baseball and my personal life. If you want to know if I use steroids, how fast I drive, or about why I was carrying that gun, call 1-900-234-JOSE. <laughs>